Hey, what's up, Hunter Nation? Hunter Tom here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm at SHOT Show 2020 at the Diana booth, and I'm with Tobias, and he's gonna show us the new Diana 34, what he's got in, in stock for us in the new barrel system, and yeah, I'm just gonna pan the uh, camera down, we're gonna check out what he's got. All right, Tobias, let's see what you've got here for us. Right, yeah, as you mentioned correct, this is a new Diana 34 series. It's an EMS, so this is called for Easy Modular System, and it's not only a new air gun, but a complete new air gun platform that offers a shoot, shooter huge opportunities, especially to tinker and to improve and change the gun in the after sale market. I can show you some of the, the main features that could be interesting for the guys outside. So first of all, we have a general improvement to the 34 series. This is now a two-piece cocking lever that is guided by a plastic part. You know, this is reducing the noise a little bit. It's not metal on metal anymore and you get just a better cocking experience. The main difference between the 34 that is known in Canada or USL quite well is that we now have the opportunity to change the bevel. So for this one, you just have to remove the stock from the system and it looks like this and you remove the screws here and you remove the, the bevel screw right here. I show you now in detail. And then the bevel looks like this. So once there's a special nut here, it's removed and you just can remove the bevel change the bevel and put it in. You see we have like a flat surface right here. So that makes sure that the bevel is always in the same position. And then come to the next point. This is so important because you still can use the open sides by yeah. changing the bevel. So we have different kind of sides option here. Uh, we have the fiber optic, which just can be put on like this and then it's tightened by the model nut we see here. The other option is we put this part on and then we can use like the premium corn tunnel. This is known for Diana rifles for decades and decades. And it's, it's more, people would like say old fashioned, but I think it's just a classic. So yeah. people like to go with it. To make sure that you have the correct rear side to the front side, we have the rear side right here. So this is now the fiber optic version. You see the small screw here. Yep. You just can remove it and put this in and the different kind of options for different kind of inlets you can use. So that makes sure everything goes in line with it. Yeah. And for the guys out there that really like to tinker in detail, we have the option to do adjust the bevel droop. So we have three different kind of spaces right here. And that makes sure that the bevel is always aligned, but sometimes you want to have a little bit different angle yeah, for yeah. whatever reason. So you have the opportunity to use the spaces and change it. It always comes with the uh, regular spring. Okay. But right now we changed the trigger, so it's still the well-known TO6 trigger, but in the Antec version, which is the name for gas ram spring for the Yana. Okay. And you just can remove it now. So everybody's able now to remove the spring and put on the, the Antec spring. If he wants to get more short, less vibration, smoother cocking experience, then that's the way to go there. So these, these parts are all going to be sold separately, right? Right, yeah. So people, um, I mean, it's always depending on the country, on the law, so yeah, we're, yeah. we're not in detail aware of this in, in each country. But yeah, basically you can use another bevel, you can use the open sides by after sale market parts, by the spacers, and for sure you can also get the tools to uh, yeah. change a bevel and so on. Right. Cool. And I think you guys have a new stock for the Storm Rider you might want to show us too, right? Right, yeah. We have the Storm Rider and the Black, so with the, with the uh, synthetic stock, and I can show you. Right. Yeah, awesome. Let's uh, pull it out. All right, so let's uh, let's see the new uh, Storm Rider. Right. Yeah, I mean the Storm Rider is, is an entry class PCP yep. and a lot of guys appreciate that it's a lightweight and a kind of slim gun yes. so you can use it for, for pass control or even for, for young kids to, to start with mm. and gives you still the opportunity to do a lot of tinkering with it. Especially US market likes to have like a synthetic stock because it's more robots you can use it more outside. Yeah, no words, you don't have to worry about it. Right. Um, or, that's yeah. why we have now the plastic stock version, the synthetic stock version. Later on, it will be a little bit modified, so we are planning to have the hole for the pressure gauge right here. Okay. Because as you know, there's regulator available as an after sale market yes. item. Yeah. So once you set up the regulator, you, this pressure gauge here will give you the opportunity to see the uh, yeah, yeah. regulator yeah. pressure. And then you can buy an after sale market item, a second gauge and see the filling pressure. Now, will this be US and Canadian market? Or? Sure, yeah. yeah. It will be available for, for both markets. Awesome, right. cool. Well, thank you very much for showing us around the Thanks. Diana booth. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye-bye. <laughs>